some people are downloading fonts and installing them on their computers and there are some fonts that are not very good for use with design space and I'm going to show you why. As you see on my screen I have downloaded and installed the KG Second Chance font and this is a neat looking font for doing chalkboards and things like that with uh, design space in the Cricut Explorer. Now not all people will experience problems with this but many people will and I'm going to show you why. So here I have the same word with the same font typed into Inkscape and I am not I've not done anything other than type it and convert it to a path and a path is how die cutting machines like the Cricut Explorer work. And the way you can think of this is when your blade or pen is moving uh, to draw or cut something, it's moving along a path. And when we're using a font, we're providing it a path to either cut or write along. And with this particular font and many others that look to the human eye to be a neat font can really be a problem and it can push uh, Adobe Flash to a point where you can get the Adobe Flash plug-in crash errors or a long-running script error and you can have a lot of problems cutting or writing these types of fonts. So with this particular font I've changed it to a path already and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the node editor and you will very quickly see how many nodes are in this one word. And if I zoom in you'll see that one word has hundreds, maybe even thousands, of nodes or cuts. So each one of these nodes is a point at which the blade must change directions. And this type of activity will cause uh, Adobe Flash to run slow. It will cause you to get the Adobe Crash plugin errors and can even uh, get to the point where it will load your mat and may not even move on to the cut stage. Um, and you can experience a lot of difficulty with this. So the good rule of thumb to go by is if you're working with a font that you've downloaded and you maybe experience problems with it, if it is a font that if you were to hand draw it and if it would take you a long time to draw it and uh, sketch it out, and actually this font is a sketch font, so if it would take you a long time to do this by hand, chances are the Cricut Explorer and Design Space is going to experience problems doing that. Again, not everyone is going to have problems with that because different performances in computers, different operating systems, different internet speeds, a lot of different factors come into play with that. But overall, this is something you really need to watch out for are these fonts with a lot of little tiny cuts, a lot of little pieces, and things like that. And this is related to uh, something I showed in one of my other videos, which I'll put a link to on the screen now, where if an image isn't cleaned up properly, it can cause the same issue. So hopefully this will help some of you avoid some of those problems that you may be experiencing out there now. If my video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, be sure to click the little gear and check this box so that you'll receive an email notification when I upload a new video. You can also help support my channel by making a small donation on patreon.com slash Troy Young.